Everybody, the Alliance of American Football is fine. It's completely fine. Having more money come in is a great thing for this league. It's just, it's this whole stu this whole situation is just stupid. What's going on guys? My name is Mike Floyd, the Turtle Show. And if you can't tell by my intro, I'm talking about this whole giant media fascination with the fact that there was a millionaire or billionaire that gave, tw well, invested $250 million to the Alliance of American Football. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Athletic, which is a newspaper, kind of like online newspaper publication, kind of like ESPN that gives you like all the sporting news. And they have like all these big time journalists and writers and everything that come from all these different backgrounds. And instead of utilizing ad revenue, they use subscribers. So you gotta pay like four or five bucks a month to actually get like the, the same news you'll get from ESPN, essentially, right? You'll see like, they'll always send like little advertising saying 50% off and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's just trash. It's honestly just trash. Well, this writer, David Glenn, who's won a whole bunch of awards, he's been in the game for like 30 plus years, released this article stating how the owner of the Carolina Hurricanes, Tom Dundon, he invested $250 million in the last American football. And he stated this came at the same time that there was a whole thing going on with the pay where the pay players weren't gonna, get, weren't gonna get paid on Friday, stating that they were gonna run out of money by the end of week two. So the Tom Dundon, this guy, he came out and even stated like, yeah, no, that's not what happened. I was actually in talks to invest all this money in the league literally last week, last Wednesday. And Charlie Eversole even came out stating like, yeah, we were looking for investors anyway. Like this was part of like a three-step plan to get investors in. It was like, show off what the league can do in the first two weeks. Show us actually a viable thing that's worth the investment and get the money to come in. Well, that's exactly what they did. And now before like Tom Dundon and Charlie Eversole, Bill Holy could come out and like, get ahead of this thing and actually say, hey, this is the new chairman of the board and all this kind of stuff. The media completely ran with it. USA, it's USA Today, ESPN, Fox News, everybody's just been bashing the Alliance of American Football like left and right. You got fans all up in uproar on like the, the Reddit threads, on the Facebook threads, just freaking out about like how this league is gonna fail. It's only been two weeks, it's da 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 da. It's like, look people, we don't know what's been going on by closed doors. We don't know a single thing. All we know is the fact that there's football out there that this guy invested $250 million. Personally, if I'm investing $250 million in something, it's not gonna be something that's gonna fail within another week. According to this guy, I mean, this guy went from running kitchens, not a kitchen, but a restaurant in Dallas to becoming super rich pr practically overnight. Owns a playoff, not, um, owns a hockey team in the NHL, which is a legit professional league. So he kind of knows the sporting business left and right. He even stated that he didn't want to invest firsthand, like when they first started pitching an idea because it wasn't proven yet. He wanted to see what kind of product they were going to put on the field, which is, which is reasonable. See what they can do. See if it's even worth him putting his money and time into it and then put the money into it. The dude, I, I don't get why everybody freaked out about this thing so fast. I mean... The, the league came out and stated like, hey, the reason why the players weren't going to pay because we switch like suppliers or like the, the banks or whatever to do the, the transactions. That happens all the times in businesses. Like my job right now, I go through this like at least three times a year where either my pay will be delayed or they'll pay us way too much or something stupid like that. It happens all the time with these kind of things. And I'm obviously, it's just, it's just crazy that all these news articles and everything was just jumping on it like crazy. So I just... Like when I first heard about this, I was gonna make, I was getting ready to do like my little videos every, you know, I do every Wednesday. I do like the little AF rumors and XFL rumors, but, and you know, this is a big thing, but I wanted to wait and see, like, there's always two sides to every story, right? There's, if he said, she said, and then the truth. And now, like I said, all of us out here and like, just as the, the consumers of the product of the Alliance of American Football, we're just seeing what's being put in front of us. All I'm saying is we just gotta calm down as fans. I mean, I know we're all wanting this league to succeed and I honestly do believe that just put myself in that guy's shoes that hey I'm putting 250 million dollars on the table they obviously have a plan for something to work it, it wouldn't make sense for him to put that kind of money on the table if this thing's going to fail now if this thing fails in three years and so be it it's not my money it's his money but I, I honestly don't think that they would have gone to run out of money within two weeks that did, doesn't make any sense for them to say like we're going to have a 10 week season and then a championship game where they have already got the stadium set up they're already selling tickets for the championship game that would make no sense like i can see them if they were running out of money they would run out of money at the end of the season like they got a lot of smart people working for them so i'm pretty sure they would have enough funds to at least fund them through the entire season because you can't sell tickets to the, the championship game and then 
than fold. I mean, that that would look just real bad on them. I mean, especially for people with like reputations like Charlie Ebersole and Bill Polian, like that would look real bad on them. I could see, like I said, I could see them run out of cash at the end of the, the season if they didn't meet certain targets and certain goals. That would make perfect sense, but then run out of money within two weeks of the start of the season, that makes no sense whatsoever. Now, what I do think is gonna be is gonna happen with Tom Dunder coming in, he's based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. In my opinion, they're gonna move a team to Raleigh, North Carolina, which would make sense. And I can see it being like the Express or Atlanta or another team that doesn't have a really good attendance record. Go ahead and move it out there and then get the, the promotions going with that. And they'll possibly move a team up to New York because I know New York is starving for a team right now that they can actually root for. So I can see that kind of happening. I don't see them actually expanding the league anytime soon, possibly in 2021 in two years, if they can get more fan interaction. I mean, I know that everybody's been talking about how the San Diego fleet, when they played the Atlanta Legends, it was kind of like, it was empty, the stadium was empty, but from everything I've seen from like the, so all these, the, the, like the different podcasts that cover the San Diego fleet and all the Twitter, uh, Twitter guys that, that follow the fleet, they were saying like, yo, it was torrential downpours. Like it was literally like raining so hard. The fans were like, why would I sit out here in the rain? It's, gi it's a giant bowl. So I don't blame those fans for not coming out there. Everybody's saying like, oh yeah, San Antonio sitting in the bar, but San Antonio plays inside. They literally play inside the Alamo Dome. So it would make sense for people that were willing to come out in bad weather to go watch the commanders play inside. If it was outside, it might've be a different story. I, I don't think we can actually take what's going on with the fans as a barometer of how bad this league is doing or how good the league is doing what i do think is jacked up that a lot of people have noticed that them putting this putting the games on nfl network in my opinion was a bad look they should have at least put them all on cbs or put them all through the app that way people can actually watch these games people want to watch the games i mean personally i i don't have cable well, I have, I have YouTube TV. YouTube TV doesn't have an NFL network. I still watch the games. I'm pretty sure you can catch my drift on how I'm watching the games, but I'd rather watch them in a way where whoever actually owns the rights to it will get the support for it. That way they keep putting the games on TV. So I think that's something they're going to have to go back and look at. Like, I think a game this weekend is on Bleacher Report Live. I don't even know how to get Bleacher Report Live, so I got to figure that out this weekend, or I'm just going to have to watch it the way I've been watching. It was going to give somebody else the views, which is not going to help these guys get their views up and get that that ad revenue coming in so i do feel like having this guy tom dundon come in he's going to help them get the ad revenue they're going to help them get the sponsors they're going to help them get the the right connections they need to actually help this league grow because this dude i mean there's an article i'll link to it in the, the description where this guy is talking to espn about how yeah i've looked at this left and right i've this is a very good viable investment he's like he's like all i know is that my money came in we're good for the next couple of years these guys are gonna get paid. It is whatever. I own. He, he now owns eight professional teams in in football alone. That means technically he owns nine teams. He owns that NHL team, the Carolina Hurricanes, and then he owns eight professional teams. He owns his own league. That's that's pretty crazy. So I know I'm rambling on and on, but I just want to get this like. I just wanted to get that out there. It's like, yo, we just gotta calm down, guys. I mean, let's just focus on the football. Let's ask fans. Stop worrying about the numbers and and what's going on behind closed doors because in all reality we can we can't control any of that i know i'm probably gonna get some hate for that it's like it's whatever i just think that we just need to calm down and just let this thing just roll with it and just cheer for whatever team if you roll with the iron if you roll with the express if you roll with the legends the fleet the the stallions the commanders and apollos just roll with those cats and just talk trash to each other about the, each other's teams let's just leave all this other drama this media drama because all those media outlets, they weren't rocking with the Alliance American football like we were. I mean, they don't understand where, why we love this this game so much. And by them keep constantly knocking it, it's going to cause these people that have the money to actually help this thing grow. To from there's going to like, in my opinion, going to prevent these guys from even wanting to put money into it because they don't think it's going to grow. It's like we just got to keep supporting these teams and cheering them on and just keep going. So that's all I really wanted to say. I, I just want to get that out there. I mean, it's. I know it's, it's a kind of a ranty type of video, but I'm, I'll be back on track next week. I just wanted to get this out there. So if you like these type of videos, just let me know. Hit like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll catch y'all next week.